Alright. Uh, it's oh yeah. Okay, let's check the event. Still 11 days to go, but there's already new events piling up, so I better start as soon. Uh, an invitation from the Artak gang. Uh, if you wanna guess who's this from, bingo, it's me, amigo. That's right, your bested buddy, buddy who's been down here in Azuma missing you. I recently ran into a new Fontaine of friends, and he said they've got a music festival called Iridescent Tour over there. Now, you truly instantly thought of that drum alone festival we had last time, and how we drummed it up on Amakane Island, singing a scarfing roasted lavender melons. Oh yeah, um, now those are some great memories, you haven't forgotten either, right compadre? But yeah, it'd be great if you could forget the part about the Terminal Commission watching their jobs and arresting me, uh, totally by mistake. So this time I decided to work with my new pal and host an even bigger, even better, even wilder musical party. And it's gonna be called the recent are attacking rocking for life tour the force of awesomeness. What do you think? Doesn't the name alone just set your soul on fire? So stop dragging your feet and get your touchy over on over to Watasumi Island. Cause the one and only has still got a lot to say. Be there or be square. If you're a no-show, then there's no show. Disclaimer, of course, I didn't have to know to describe this for me. He totally did. <laughs> the, uh, he, he came right, can't he? What's uh, uh. quest? There. Uh. I can't teleport there exactly. No. Mm, yeah, Shinobu hasn't been to in to Fontaine yet, has she? Yonfei as well. They both should check the land of law. So this is the venue, huh? Not half bad. Mm-hmm. What's the thing over? Away from the press. There's nobody here yet. Ah, don't you worry, Jack Attack. We'll find that dog, even if it's hiding in Tenshu Kaku. The dog? Ito, it's just a myth. The work. Huh. What dog? Oh, compadre and Paimon! <laughs> you finally made it! Oh man, have I missed you guys! <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is Dvorak, a musician from Fontaine. Dvorak. Jack Attack, you know these two, right? Hi, Mr. Dvorak, it's you! I don't think I've ever heard people <laughs> sing. Ah, it's so wonderful to see you both again. I feel like that lantern rite was just yesterday. How have you been? We know Pretty you. good! So how did you end up hanging around with Ito? I don't Is he helping you with the iridescence tour now? Oh, you better believe it, Minnie Melon. But that's only half the story. This is no ordinary iridescence tour. Me and Jack Attack are teaming up to turn this into the iridescent Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness! Rockin' for Life? What do you know about rock and roll, bull checker? Huh? What, you never heard of Bull Chucker Rock before? Moo, moo, moo! Uh, and, uh. <laughs> Don't try and understand it, Minnie Melon, it'll melt your mind. It's about letting loose. Come on, give us some Lavender Melon Rock! Okay, speak for yourself, mister. Sounds like you're the one whose mind is melting. Uh, just backtrack a little, what's the dog we were talking about? Uh, yeah. <laughs> just a local legend I heard about. Apparently there was a war between the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi not too long ago. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Such a waste. When will people learn? Make rock and roll, guys. 
not war. Uh, a tragedy, to be sure. Countless animals were affected by the fallout. A raven, a bakedanuki, a weasel thief, and many more sustained injuries. Uh, fair point. The animals didn't deserve that. But, I'm not to downplay it or anything, but didn't even worse stuff happen than that? In the eyes of a rocker, all living things are equally important. So, did his dog get injured too? No. The story goes that this dog was something like a ninkin. It would show up out of nowhere in the middle of a battle to rescue the injured animals and take them to safety. Hmm. Rocking and rolling to the rescue! A king among canines! Woo! <laughs> There'll always be a place for him in the Arataki gang. Where did you hear about this? In Rito. I was actually there while the war was going on. It inspired me to write a song about it. I was even planning to host a music festival around the same theme, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't convince my investors. Oh yeah, I heard all about that. They claimed they had to cancel their plans because of an accident at sea, but <laughs> that was just a lame excuse. Uh, yes, they weren't optimistic about the potential return on investment. Plus, I don't know, there seemed to be some other risks they were worried about. What kind of risks? Good question. Risks only apparent to people with Mora to throw around, I suppose. I agree. <laughs> when people have too much Mora, they lose their rock and roll spirit. They do, huh? So what do you mean by rock and roll spirit anyway? Uh, you know, the spirit of, uh, you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. <laughs> and that sort of stuff. Definition, aren't the investors the most rock and roll people in this scenario? Anyway, point is, those chumps are out, and Arataki Ito is in. I'm running the show from here on out. Oh, yeah, right! How are you gonna fill in for the investors? Do you even have any more? I have faith in Ito. He tells me that the Arataki gang is a small but well known and influential organization in this area, and has even been known to rub shoulders <laughs> with the local authorities. Isn't that right? Poor guy. Rub shoulders is putting it mildly. More like they're always locking horns. Hey, don't look down your nose at the Arataki gang. I got connections, all right? Even the track commission listens to what I have to say. Okay, Mr. Big Shot, whatever you say. You can doubt it all you want, Minnie Melon, but it's the truth. You know that guy in the Yashiro Commission? Well, he and I are officially bros. That's right. I'm talking about Toma, housekeeper extraordinaire. And there's the general from the Tenryo Commission, Kujo Tengu. I mean, sure, we're always ribbing each other, but it comes from a place of deep mutual respect. Mutual? Yeah, Paimon's not so sure about that. So what about the Kanjo Commission? Okay, fair. No first name contacts there. But the Arataki gang is a big contributor to the revenue stream. All those fines we pay. <laughs> uh, fines? Huh? No! Uh, I meant, I mean, the uh, uh, taxes. <laughs> yeah. But that's not all. Let's not forget my contacts outside of the Tri Commission, huh? Amazing, talented people from all walks of life. Like, uh, oh, like the TCG legend, Ayato. Oh, yeah. He's made quite a name for himself in the TCG circles. In fact, they got a saying now Ayato of the South, Ito of the North. Ha <laughs> ha ha. That's right. I'm the only serious competition he's got in all of Inazuma. Did... did you make that saying up? Then there's the fox lady, VIP customer of Yukio's ramen stall, and fellow participant in the Ramen Masters Championship. I was her only worthy opponent. Also, you know hmm. that lonely god in Tenchukaku? Well, guess what? Turns out, it was her lifelong wish to catch one of Arataki Ito's events! During the Drum Along Festival, the Tenryo Commission were worried that their almighty shogun might have too much fun and lose interest in running the government. That's why they invited me over to stay for a couple of days. Wow, look at you! Sounds like you're really going up in the world. At this rate, you'll have made Shogun by the next time we see you. And then Paimon will have to call you Almighty Bullchucker. Earth again, nurses from me. Um, well, I'll admit I heard a few exaggerations there myself, but regardless, Ito has helped me secure a venue for this event, and for that, 
I owe him my thanks. Ah, it's nothing. Don't mention it. My bro Goro sorted it all out for me. Let's both mm. go thank him later. Wait, you know Goro? Yep, I always knew him as General Goro of the Resistance Fighters. But I had no idea there was more to the story. Turns out, he has another identity. Oh, you know about it? What other identity? You've, uh, heard of Miss Hina, right? But Miss does Hina. he know about it all now? Hey, no need to yell, all right? Yes, Miss Hina. She's the one who told me. After falling for the Tenryo Commission's tricks at the Drumalong Festival, I figured I'd find a new location this time, somewhere out of their reach, like uh, here, for example. So I wrote Miss Hina a letter, asking mm. if she knew anything about the procedure for holding an event on Watatsumi Island. She wrote me back right away and said I could ask Watatsumi Island's general for help, and that his name was Goro. Mm. I was like... What? General Goro is the general of all Watatsumi Island? Mm -hmm. <sighs> that was close. Paimon's with you now, but what did you think general meant? What do you mean? Isn't it like one general per squad or something? That's called a captain. Really? Huh. Well, either way, if it wasn't for Miss Hina, I never would have known. Pretty rock and roll, huh? <laughs> so rock and roll. All right. Good chat, compadre. I just remembered I got a meeting with Goro coming up. Gonna ask him about that dog situation. Hmm. Gonna have to love you and leave you for now. Sure, you don't want to us to join? We could help. <laughs> you guys focus on having a blast here at the festival. I think I can handle this little canine conundrum. There's still a few days left until the big party, so not everything's set up yet, but uh, the jam zone and the roasted lavender melon zone are ready for action. Mm. Have fun, compadre. Got a dash. <sighs> what a character. Kind of admire his enthusiasm, though. Well, it looks like it's just the three of us for now. Why don't I show you the jam zone to start with? Hmm. Sure, there'll be more people around. This in your daddy's recent tour. Oh, that? The camera pinned here? I thought that was where I had to go. Here we are. I've supplied musical scores and instruments from various regions, including a mm. horn I personally brought from Fontaine. You can play whatever music you like. If you get tired, the roasted lavender melon zone is just over there. Ito says that lavender melons are <clears throat> rock and roll fuel. So what do you think? Want to give it a try? I guess that makes Pemo flame rock and roll fuel. Ito's gone, otherwise Paimon would never hear the end of it. Let's change the topic. What other fun stuff is there to do here, Mr. Dvorak? Well, we're planning to invite some more music enthusiasts, and we're still getting some supplies together, so we can decorate the place a little. But it could take some time. The Arataki gang has shifted their focus to the dog situation ever since I brought it up. Only one of them is actually sticking to the plan. Her name is Kuki Shinobu. She's out delivering invitations right now. Yep, that's the Arataki gang for ya. Everyone else goofs around while Shinobu gets things done. We should help out. We can't let this event get totally derailed when Shinobu's out there doing her part. Oh, I mean... Are you sure? Absolutely, we can handle it. That uh, would be extremely useful. We're starting to get behind schedule, and a couple extra pairs of hands could make all the difference. No problem! We're happy to help! So you need us to find some music lovers and gather materials for decorating, was that it? Exactly. According to the original plan, we aim to finish everything in five days, and then the big party can begin. Mm. 
Uh, actually, uh, give me a second. I'll make you a checklist of all the outstanding tasks. That way it'll all be clearer. Oh, also, one other tidbit to share with you. Ito is planning to perform a song on stage mm. on the final day of the event. Ugh, typical bull checker always has to be the center of attention. Why don't you do a song, Chukpaimo? Oh, Paimo would steal the show for sure! No one would give Ito a second look after that! Pretty sure he'd yell out, Paimon's so rock and roll it hurts! And then he'd run off the stage, bawling his eyes out! <laughs> Those are some bold claims, Miss Paimon, but that kind of confidence would serve you well on the stage. Ah, oh, Paimon's just kidding. Anyway, we'll be ready for that checklist as soon as it's done, Mr. Dvorak. Great. Feel free to take a look around. I'll bring it over in a few minutes. Okay, I think I'm vaguely remembering the previous event. Build the venue. Feel free to take a look around. I'll be with you in just a moment. Hmm. Think I should. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Wow, Shinobu and Hazo. What a surprise! <laughs> This truly is a pleasant surprise. Although, not that surprising, to be honest. I was just telling Miss Shinobu that I had a sneaking suspicion we might run into you. <laughs> Doshin Shikanoin was talking about you constantly the whole way here. I guess the universe answered his prayers. Eh, it's called intuition. Names pop into my head at relevant moments, just the way my mind works. It's great, Subo. Paimon sure wasn't expecting Hazo to be the first one to show up. Boss nagged me to prioritize the Tenryo Commission invitations. He specifically requested Madame Kujo Sara and Doshin Shikanoin. So, why isn't Sara here? <sighs> Almost certainly because she has no desire whatsoever to see Ito. In her defense, here's what was written on the invitation letter. Kujo Tengu, come meet me at the top of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Let's go nuts and have a totally rock and roll sumo wrestling match. If I were Kujo Sara, I'd jump at the chance to throw Ito off the roof. But then wouldn't Kokumi come and throw Sara off too? All that stamping around on her roof, the noise would drive her crazy! Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Madame Kujo Sara's response was much more magnanimous than mine would have been. She gave us a basket of lavender melons to bring as a gift. Magnanimous? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Something tells me she's trying to send a message. What message? If that Oni brat wants to pick a fight with me, there will be plenty of lavender melons waiting for him at the police station. Mm, maybe the fact you assume that says more about you than her. So what about the other basket of lavender melons, huh? Is that one from you? What message are you trying to send? <laughs> the other basket is actually from a few of us at the police station. I chipped in, and so did some other Doshin who've arrested Ito before, <laughs> and so did some of Ito's former cellmates. So, I guess this basket of lavender melons is our way of saying, there'll always be a place for you here. Uh, maybe just give boss the melons and don't mention that part? Sure. Well, my work is done here, anyway. Now that I've delivered the lavender melons and said hello to the traveler, I should probably get going. Number yeah, wasn't invited, uh, so. Aren't you gonna stay wrong. for the event? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll definitely be back for the big party. But I have some business to attend to in Rito first. Eesh, being a detective sounds busy. I got you running around all over the place. Oh, wait, Rito! Do you happen to know anything about a mystery Ninken that appeared during the war? Apparently a lot of people in Rito were talking about it. Ah, the dog, yes. That was the inspiration behind this music festival, wasn't it? Shinobu told me all about it. Oh, never mind. Paimon just thought a detective might have the inside scoop. I'm only speculating here, but from experience, I'd say it's probably just a local legend. 
I doubt the dog even exists. No, there was a mother. What's wrong? From the look on your face, you've got a vested interest in this situation. Hmm. Interesting. Well, since I'm going to Rito anyway, I can always ask around and see where it leads. Are you sure you won't impact your work? How much do you charge for your services? <laughs> Don't be silly. If this matters to you, that's a good sign that it'll turn out to be something that interests me too. <laughs> Stay tuned for more info. See you all soon. Seems like Doshin Shikanoin's quite the lone wolf. Well, I'd better get back to delivering these invitations. Gotta make sure the big party's a success. In that case, guess it's time for us to get to work, too. Wonder how that checklist is coming along. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's that list for you. If you can work your way through all this, we'll be back on track. Great! Perfect timing, Mr. Dvorak! We'll get on it right away! Thank you. I'm very grateful for your help. If you feel like flexing your musical muscles to take a break at any point, just come and find me in the jam zone. That, that was... That was it, the quest? A little bit longer. Okay. Stream Carnival. Everything's open already. Uh, follow the Vorjax checklist by defeating specific monsters, collecting designated the original specialties, or using the photo taking function to take pictures of specific targets to obtain the corresponding venue decoration. Ah, okay. Collect the Vorjax to decorate the venue and make it more complete. Okay, everything is open. I don't even have to complete the previous ones. So sure, go to the next. Ah, uh, uh, this is playing music. Wait, this is music as well? Converse with music in two sides of the device join. Whoa! Uh, hey. All right. Yeah, thanks, but no. Uh, let's see. Conversing music enthusiasts invite them to join the music festival. Hmm. Challenge. This sounds more like talking to people. But this is plain. Yeah. Uh, so I don't. I don't really have quests here. Uh, quests here for me to do. Uh. Huh. Commodity house signboard. Uh, creative breaks. Cards of commodity house. Enjoy. Oh come on. Where's content? Maybe. Please not touch the the room. Huh? Ah, there. It's not a step main. Strange the room. Her head. Crawl. Can't crawl taller. Face. <laughs> okay, anything else? Uh, okay. Uh, no, let's check the first part here. Uh, the wrong part. Ah, okay, get him. These compositions. Ah, okay, from other people. Oh, we can compose actually. Ah, and that's the 
Oh, was the venue is ready. Ah, okay. Ah, so I do have to complete the decoration. Any yeah, components? Sorry, close. Ah, okay. I guess I'll do those things in order here. Ready for this challenge? Interface styles. What's the difference? Base. Ah, based on the score. Okay, so this change on each. Oh, okay. Mm. This looks better, but I think this would be easier to play. Synchronize the link between buttons. Ah. Uh, that may be good, that may be good, so I know they start exactly at the same time. Mm, okay. Uh, instrument visit score, oh, cool. With note sound. Uh, let's... Yeah. A bit, I guess that. But calibration, I think it was fine this time. Uh, uh, currently using a new device. Okay, let's calibrate. Okay, I guess it's okay. Uh, no, uh, okay, okay, it's fine. Uh, perform. Ah, I have to go there. Hello! Would you like to practice some music? Mm hmm. I'll need to put the pen. I'll have a go. Great! Before you get started, you'll want to calibrate your instrument. Just Everyone's playing style is slightly different. Let me help you with that. I just did that. Hello. Uh, have Great. A go. I've been looking forward to hearing you play. Alright. So. Look at the. Machine does say. Ah, uh, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I can probably figure it out. Okay, let me see. Okay, just three, three.
Yeah, sometimes when I'm going to one side, I have to go back to the other. I... I think it's one place and it's another. That's better than those and 93%. Okay, I think that was good enough to catch the next one. Ah, they stay on range. They could just drop it. Let's see how that one is. Damn it, they look, they look too alike, and I don't know, they look too alike, if they, maybe if they, they were a bit away from the center, that will help a bit, uh, interface, maybe that can help, yeah, they seem a bit more separated here, maybe that could help. Uh, but I guess that was good enough. Let's check the next one. I think Lustrous Trick. Surastana Fantasia. Ah, oh, it's uh, Aranaras.
Yeah, I think it would be a bit easier if it was according to the notes section, not just the beat. If there were higher notes and lower notes. Other times you played it, a part that it's, it sounds the same as the other, but in different places. Damn it, that's hard. It's been way too long since I played Guitar Hero. Okay, Rex Incognito. This sounded a bit like uh, Sumeru.
Oh, that's hard. Come on. Okay, that's good enough. Endless words. <laughs> ah, yeah, she was in the last event with Shinya. Doing well. Uh, it made me want to play Luigi's Mansion. Okay. Oh, that was better than the others. Oh, Rosie to Luffy. Thank <laughs> you. 
maybe each line had different colors like it will it'll be a bit easier as well That's giving me Castlevania, Order of Ecclesia, flashbacks. Okay, that was cool. Next, no, uh, that's it for two. I, I can't. Damn it, that I can't. <laughs> would be worse uh symmetrous yeah what the, is that
것들을 미세미 Oh, I didn't feel any. Yeah, it wasn't all perfect. There was some good there. Yeah, but that one was easier than the other ones. But I think this one can be quite hard. No. That ain't a god? Yeah, that was weird. How did I get that ain't? Nip bounce. Okay, it's just him. Yeah. It's weird this kind of sound in Genshin, but it's just him.
Is the canon they're playing just some regular music or they're actually playing those kind of sounds on those events? Because so this uh, uh, Dvorak is quite uh, ahead of his time here. better than I thought they would make me go a bit further on those test notes. Maybe that's easier on a controller. Not sure. All right, we're done. Yeah, but that was cool. Uh, now I have to take pictures before doing the other thing, right? Ah, I got some already. Ah, I got the instrument. Gadget. So I can use it in time. Excuse horn is a fontaine instrument that can be used in performance. It was given from Dvorak. Let's see if I can remember it's the Vorjak when the next event like this comes along. They say the tones of the horn are both rich and mellow as well as gentle, like a gentle evening breeze blowing among the thicket of trees. So, Fontanian composers often use horns to vividly bring the imagery of hunters in forest life. Without a doubt, this instrument is eminently suited to a musical gala celebrating life. I have. I don't know how many Goros I have. That we horn? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The like secrets of the horns. mechanical arts are to. Uh, even menu, now, pictures, search, search guide, uh, let's hold that these war machines, left behind and now destroy nation, can be found on Divat, guardians of the ancient last ruins amidst the saints, they can be found in desert Sumeru, the exclusive machines of variety of types of functions, they can be found in Fontaine, both on land and on water, but why are we going after the ones of other nations now as well? What do I... Wait, what do I have to do? I thought I had just... I thought it would point me to what, where I had to go. Defeat, defeat, defeat. Take photos. Ah, oh, birds, dogs. Ah, okay. I thought it was all bird of pictures. Okay, simple pearls are conscious. Draw products with green leaves. Okay, three types. K 
can be three mints or have to be different. Okay, let's get the pearls. Oh, but since why are... must the listener grow weary whenever I begin there to should be some them. nearby. Uh, there. Skyward! Got him! That okay, so go pearls gathered. Yeah, that was a bit out of order, but start conscious. Uh, let's go to Fontaine. Uh, I've walked around here one of those days. I'm not sure if they respawn already. No, uh, over here. There. Uh, there's not a circle. No, there's not a circle. Uh, I was thinking about those. No, circle are here, right? Those are circle. Uh, damn, I'm not sure that was the name. That's a Strakonsh. Yeah, okay. Two. Yeah. There. Uh, are you so. here to play with me? Okay, now, uh, there's actually a garden nearby. Um, but let's see, there is one right here, next to this. Mm. Is the fit three as well? Gather! Bow your head! One. Now, mm, mm, mm. another easy one. Close. Uh, where's this one close to a teleport? And. I think there's one. No, is there one close there? No, it's usually a vent. There's one here. Yeah, not so close to the teleport. Yeah, skyward, scatter. No, actually, now I just thought of a better place that has even more than one, I guess. But I'm here already. Got him. Solidify. Settle down. Transfixed. Okay. I don't think I even got the loot on the other one. Now it's back here in... Hang on, where is it? It's... How's the place? It's around here. Is it here? It's not here. I'm remembering how the place looks like, but I'm not sh fully sure where it was. I think it is here. No, it, it's not that. Uh, it's close to where we did the quest with Child's brother.
Damn it, now I want to go there. Where was it? It's not far from this. I'm just not fully sure where it was on the map. Damn it, it's not here. I'm most certain it's not there. Ah, it's there. Okay. Yeah, skyward. Got him. I guess that's the teleporter I want. Okay. I thought it was an actual teleport, not a statue of the seven. Uh. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the place I wanted. There are plenty of guardians here. Skyward. Got him. I only need one now, but that was the place I wanted. That didn't count? That didn't count? Or this do they have to be different? Ah, uh, it has to be three types damage. It has to be three types. Bummer. Um huh? what's that? The, the melodies. Ah the other thing. Okay, but I'll do that afterwards. Uh, okay, so there is a place here. Here I can fight. Oh. That was the place I should have gone from the beginning. There are three types here. There are four types here. It's over. Uh, there's one guy there that we can just go over. We don't have to get there. Yeah. To open the door. Skyward. This guy here. <sighs> Uh, there's a large boy there. There's some tiny ones roaming around Solidify. there. Let the mighty be humble. It has to be three types. Oh, hang on. I may even find some other greenery I need to catch. There. Green leaves, okay. Late bear. Uh, did that one count? I didn't actually pay attention. But it did, okay. Okay, but if needed, we could just fight those as well. Okay, can we find some that? See so flowers and now the green leaves. Hmm, what has green leaves beside those? Uh, here we're getting the whole plant. When I get just berries, do they count? They have green leaves, but we we only use the berries, not the the flower. Uh, any berry around? Ah, mm. oh, oh no! Okay. No, that isn't a berry. I uh, I'm pretty sure this will work. And it's right next to the teleport. There. Now, let's see what else. Okay, simple pearl. 
Arrows, leaves, star conscious. Okay. Pictures, pictures. Types of birds, types of dogs, types of cats. Okay, those I can probably get easy. On mustache, on fountain. I need to pay attention to birds. Uh, two types of primal constructs. Aren't they all the same? I'm only thinking about the boss. Oh, there, bird. Uh, can you be that, that thing? No. Uh, this has to be my actual camera here. Camera, camera, special camera, regular camera. No. No. No, it didn't appear. Uh, can, can we move the camera when it's like that? Ah, type of birds. Okay, that works. No? No? It was showing that thing there. I can't get too close. Kill flee. Did I count? Damn, it, that's not fair. Uh, any other bird around? Yeah, birds always flee from us. Let's check on Chimmy. He has some. Ah, they're ducks. They, all, they won't flee from us. Yeah. Oh, hang on. You got stuck. That worked. Perfect. Let's check the duck. Can I use a picture while I'm... Uh... There. I bet those work as well. Ah, berries. Uh, ah, the wind trace. Let's check on... Uh, cats. Then I'll teleport here afterwards and talk to people. Let's go by parts. <laughs> uh, there. Oh, a dog. I thought there was a cat here. Will that work? We can probably get two cats here. There. Okay, uh, there's probably some other dog almost at, but I won't really know where. But I do know there are plenty of dogs, different types in Fontaine. And birds, there are some birds here that we can get a bit closer to. Yeah, I didn't even remember about any of those. Yeah. There, dog. Okay, got, got, got. Now, two types of clockwork mecha and Three types of two types of primal constructs. If I destroy the boss, would it count as two? Okay, now I need to try it. I probably don't even have the. Yeah, skyward, scatter. Uh, not primal gems. Resin Esther to get yeah. the reward. Skyward, but I want to see if this will count as two. Yeah, I don't give a damn, I know. Stabilize, bow your head. The tide's beckoning. 
Comes as one. Can I? No, I don't have. Okay, so let's. No, 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 no. Let's fight another one. Uh, where can I find? Ah, there's some dogs running around here. There's also the mining machines. I forgot about them. Skyward, scatter! Oh no, there are some dogs running around here, but there's a place I can find dogs and uh, human like. Because I was thinking of the male, the female, and the dog. The view from the heavens must be magnificent. Oh, don't f yeah. yeah, sure. But there's also two types of mining ones, plus the that huge excavator. An oversight on my part. Gather! There. Press. What did you get? <laughs> okay, now uh, the desert. I only remember one type. There's some around here, right? What's the other type of? I can probably check the uh, notebook. I cannot help but feel that you bringing Isn't me the, here is some so sort of an assassination there. attempt. Stabilize! Okay. One tight. Uh, let's check here because I... I thought they all look the same. I never really pay attention, apparently. Okay. That's no that's that's a boss. Uh I want the regular enemy. From construction. There's only one here. Uh Rain Sentinels, Rain Drake. Yeah, they are different here. But yeah, I think this account. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the thing. Because I, I'm. Yeah, I think there's only one type. Yeah. Witness my lives. Late bear. 
its order. Stabilize. Strike cloud converge. Let the mighty be humble. Yeah, that counts. Okay, now no we're complete. Ah, oh, but maybe that boss fight there, if I did both, would count as two. Copelia and Copelius. No, we have to do those as well. Okay, so let's check those now. Navigate? No, can we just teleport somewhere? Uh, oh, I can go. I move this free world. Uh, no, not that. That. First move is. There's no really. Okay. Let's see. Two groceries. Uh, we like to invite you to attend this music festival. Okay, just that. That's strange. No one's ever invited me to go oh, attend such an event before. Well, that's why we're here. Because nobody ever invited you. You must have music really love, right, Oi? We could play it for you. We're serious. Musicians, we are. I thought we just fiddle a bit. You know what I'm say? Well, there's one that I heard a long while back. It was your, I was your hideaway. I last heard it, I believe. I only remember bits and pieces of it, but could you play it for me all the same? I wouldn't be so certain. Sure, I'll give it a go. Thank you. Oh, during a meeting of melodies, you must choose the most suitable notes from the selection of notes to fit into the empty space of a track to match the hum melody of the original song. Man, this guy is way too expert in everything he does. Um, I'm not really sure about the, the, the it should know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. So, did she play Genshin when she was about Paimon's height? Okay, I think we're good. Okay, that was cool. Simple but nice gameplay. Ah, it marks how long it took. 
Uh, lovely. Since you're quite damn handy at making others' wishes come true. It's been almost 20 years since I last heard this tune. It was a boy in the neighborhood who played for me. But that's the theme of the game. His wish was to travel and see the outside world. It's just a shame that I couldn't have been the one to help him. Uh, well, would you look at that? I straight from the top. I'm afraid I can't help with this music festival. Then why am I helping you? Sukum, Sukumomono groceries can't do without me right now. Still, I'm glad I heard, I have heard this once more. Thank you so much. So that was just a waste of time. Is that it? Hmm, <laughs> you. Ah, Dom Zanazum, Scritchy Cuisine, would like to invite you to the music festival. Uh, I don't know, I like music. Most everybody likes music. Uh, well, to be truthful, that's where I get most of my creative ideas. Oh, then you must have music you really enjoy, right? We could play it for you. Oh, that's a long list you'll be looking at. Uh, if I had to pick one, it might be this tradition piece from Konda Village. That's where I start my culinary journey, in fact. Could you play the piece if I were to hum the tune for you? Sure, I'll give it a go. Thanks. Absolutely fantastic. Enough for the way you dress. I suspect you were from Kona Village yourself. It sounded just like the original. Alright, I decided I headed to this festival. Maybe immersing myself in the music there might give me some new ideas. I'll move my full stall over there. None of my skills are most impressive, but I'm sure I'll add to the atmosphere at least. You have to put all that on a board and stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, who else? Ah, you. Poultry, I thought maybe it would be the woman there. Poultry skewer, barbecue sauce, salt for your fish, it's a ramen. I should invite you. Did I hear you wrong? Is this a music festival or food festival? Music in a serious formal musical exchange to boot? Uh, by the way, do you have any music you enjoy? We can play for you right now. Oh, you're serious? Then, well, I do have something in mind. Can I... I can try humming it for you. Could you try playing it then? Sure, I'll give it a go. Well then, this is quite a lovely surprise. Now this just repeats. Uh, I think it was that. That. Uh, 
This sounds wrong. Yeah, that one. Yeah, probably. Let's just see that one. Yeah, that one. Wow, what a brilliant recreation. That's it. Even I have no clue what the song is called. Uh, a fox eared customer of ours likes coming this one when she comes over for some ramen. She's one of our VIPs. Come around a few days ago, in fact. Or I wouldn't have remembered that song at all. I fox eared customer. Like, how many do you have around here? And isn't she kind of famous? Shouldn't you say her, call her by her name? I guess that tells you all you need to know about me and music, huh? If you're looking for full stall, I recommend you look for Tomoki. So we, you were useless as well. That fellow's got a right adventure spirit. Even if he isn't a fan of music, he should be interested nonetheless. But anyway, I get one for each, so now it's the part there, the part there. Wow, we're calling people from. All the way to most I should go to Watasumi Island. Uh, her? Uh, let's have John Lee play for you. No, not the board. Her. I should actually for Tennis Miss Festival. Miss Festival is saying, you know, I actually met my husband because of a song. Quite the coincidence, huh? Quite the coincidence. You met him over a song and we just happened to mention song. People mention songs every now and then. Which song was it? But and we can play for you. We're super serious about music. Now in that case, could you play for to um the tune? Sure, I'll give it a go. How exciting. How weird she comes with her mouth open. Uh, la souvenir avec le crépuscule. They met each other in Fontaine. No, no, that's the same. Okay, I guess.
or a wonderfully nostalgic feeling. I was immediately reminded of my studies in Fontaine. Ah, so it was. I would often go to cafes in Versailles Passage to read, and when I heard this song one day, I asked the barista what it was called. They didn't know, but a large fellow having some cake nearby told me that it was named Le Sauvigny avec Le Crepuscle, uh, and yeah, later on, he became my husband. He was at a cafe meeting with his friends from the literary club back then. Uh, how nostalgic, we were also young. You were old, no? Oh, right, uh, your music festival. I fear I shouldn't be able to attend, but if needed, I can get my husband to go. <laughs> He's been filling with some old books that haven't been selling well all day, and I haven't been able to dissuade him from doing so. But I'm such a cultural. I'm sure such cultural exchanges would interest him. I ask him to bring some souvenirs along that he can give out to put. Where's her husband? I didn't know she was married. Uh, yeah, let's have her. Miss Fest wanted to say thank you. I do confess to being in the habit of collecting radiant spin crystals. Hmm. Oh, then you must have... Wait, I thought this was like a bonus for the players. They ha they really exist in the world as lore? Who creates them? Uh, then you must have music you really enjoy, right? You could play it for you. We are serious music musical types. Oh, really? Well, there is one tune. What well, say I hum it for you and you play for me? Turn, sure, there you go. Thanks for the trouble. Oh, now that brings back memories. It reminds me of how, when I was young, I would wake up every, uh, wake up very early to attend calligraphy classes at my teacher's place. It was so early that it was still dark out, and it was terribly frightening. Who goes to calligraphy classes so early in the morning? Fortunately, I would pass by the house of an old granny, and I could often hear this song drifting out from her home. It would give me a sense of peace. The dear old lady probably isn't with us anymore, but I've also grown, so uh, and I'm no longer af as afraid of the dark. In any case, I gave it some serious consideration, and while I love to agree, it's going to be tough finding someone to watch a time-honored star like ours on such short notice. So let me recommend someone else to you who might attend instead. Chigu and Chick's boss, Lin Lang. She doesn't even open in the daytime, and you can either find her sleeping or wandering the streets. I reckon she did have the free time to help. Regardless, thanks so much for letting me hear that song again. I hope your musical adventure goes well. You don't open in the daytime. Limitation? Is it a date? Uh, no, this is about musical exchange, by the way. 
Do you have any songs that you like? We can play them for you, just to show you you were legit, you know? I see, well, I do have something in mind. I'll hum and you play. How does that sound? Sure, I'll give it a go. I'm listening. I'm listening. You were going to start. My dear guest, it would be no exaggeration to compare your performance to an adept of him. Uh, when I was just starting on this line of work, I went to Mainland to purchase some ancient jade. On the way there, I heard music come from Shin, uh, Shinkyum Peak. Uh, I was so enraptured that I wondered if it might be the music of the adept I themselves you know. <laughs> Thank you. I thought I'd never get the opportunity to hear it again. As for the music festival, I must say that I wouldn't call myself any kind of music enthusiast. I simply happen to like this tune, so forgive me if I must decline. But allow me to let slip from my lips this little bit of gossip. I believe Minxing's jury boss, Shinchi, is a, clo a closer fan of music. Perhaps you could ask her. Who needs to be a closet fan of music unless you like really bad music? There's no <laughs> real need. Uh, last but not least, I wish you the best of luck in your festival. So there's one more person here? Or did I. Ah, it's. Hang on, it's the one I talked to already. Uh. That she said she'll send her husband. Ah, she's there. Uh, and now most touch. Okay, so who were? Hmm, uh, she probably won't go. Welcome, every treasure here is unique, so we don't negotiate on the price, nor do we give refund refunds. And yeah, I don't need to read that. It's so the same. Music Festival, didn't we just hold the Windblooms Festival? We did? Was it recently? No. This one's taking place in Azuma, Marjorie. And it's a serious musical exchange. If you've got any tunes you like, we can play for you right here and now. Uh, let me think. Well, I don't remember this one's name, but could you play over to just hum the tune? Sure, give it a go. Oh, that'd be great.
Yeah, I think that's the one. I can remove that to listen to it again. No, no, that will repeat. Ah. Ah, it's all the same. Okay, so that's easier. I should have made one wrong just to see what happens I didn't yet. This seems so gentle just the way I remember it. My dad used to play this one for me on his harmonica while we were on our way back to from Springvale. Yeah, we don't have a harmonica yet. Uh, he said that this tune represents Springvale itself and that's where that's dad grew up. Shame that my grandfather would pass before I was ever born. Thanks for playing this the music. You know what? I decided that I should spend a bit more time with my dad. He's an adventurer, so he tends to spend time out in the field. So if no mind, I might have to give this festival a pass. But if there is another opportunity, I'll come and drag him along as well. This sounds like a nice opportunity for you to go with him. Uh, there is Flora. I guess she will be the right one because she has someone to look for the star. Where's the other person? Uh, back there. Yeah, let's talk to her. Or less. Because I think she's the one. Is he here? Uh, oh, hey, if it's six, six Finger Jose, maybe he will call. Because that's his job. Yeah, no, why invite the musician? Yeah. Uh, huh, you come in with an invitation? What's the occasion? Has Master Diluc decided to give me the day off? Yeah, he can go. No, this is about musical exchange taking place in Azuma. If there's a song like, we can play it for you right now. Why are you coming to him? A song like, you say? Hmm, I don't remember. Had a housemate underneath. Hosting several small family concerts at the winery. They played a song at those gatherings that I do quite like. I'll do my best to hum it for you. Mind playing the song after that? This is the guy that always has bards around. In any case, do excuse my amateurishness. The songs have actual names, it's just the wine routine. Let's watch this up. That one, I think, is wrong. I guess just the first one was wrong. Huh. Huh, that one was wrong as well. Okay. Stop.
Okay. Very impressive. In fact, I should recommend to Adeline that you be commissioned to play the next such family event. Yeah, that would be interesting. Family event? Would Kaya be there? As for your invitation, to be honest, I was just about ready to agree the moment you finished your performance. But I'm not sure I want to ask a Master Dealer for a day off over something this trivial. After all, he agreed without hes hesitation. How about this then? I'll send you a token of support for your festival. Will that do? So we'll be sending us several crates of wine. <laughs> I doubt everyone will be who'll be attending the festival will be of drinking age. As such, I'll give you some decorative banners instead. We've got them stocked in the winery warehouse. And I believe they'll come quite in handy. Don't worry, you won't have to go fetch them yourselves. I'll have some of our traders deliver directly. Just consider it the angel share. Hmm. I was pretty sure we were going we we're going to get flower to go there and bring flowers to decorate the place. Mm. Is there music event going on in the city? I'm only familiar with flowers, so not music. Huh. No, this one's taking place in Azuma, and it's totally fine if you don't know much about music. You just need to enjoy it. If there is a tune you like, we could play it for you right now, you know? Well, I do have something in mind. Then its name escapes me, but I can hum the tune at least. Would that do? Sure, give it a go. Nice, woohoo. This is the flower team. Oh, you're great. This is even better than when Miss, Mr. Said plays it. He performed this one for us last Windbloom Festival, saying that it was a traditional song from Somero. Donna said it sounded terrible compared to Mr. Diluc's playing, though. Diluc can play? Well, I made up my mind. The flowers need care every day, and Azul is pretty far away, so I'm afraid it can go. Yeah, but I have the lady there taking care of it for you. Thanks for the music though, it was lovely. On the note, I'll offer you a special prize if you need flowers for a festival. Do we? Okay, everything done. So... The work. Teleport. Nice. Mm. Uh, nothing arrived yet. Oh, hey, well, there's something here as well. There. Elegant handwriting. This letter elegantly, is elegantly written and has been signed Shikanui Hazel. Read letter. I asked some retail residents, but none of them have heard of that which you call Ninken on the battlefield. 
The sheer... That was a battle in Rito. The sheer lack of information quite surpassed my expectations. This is quite strange, even for information that has not yet spread widely. Uh, I will continue searching for clues. Okay, second. I tried a different approach today, which unexpectedly yielded some relevant information. During the war, the International Trade Association had an organization which registered with it that specialized in pet treatment in trade, known as the Puppy Union. Its symbol just happens to be a dog wearing a bamboo hat. Not that this proves anything alone, but I found two other suspicious things. One, after the war, the Puppy, puppy Union very quickly cancelled its registration. Two, the Puppy Union's event funding went through at least six layers of transfers. Quite suspicious. I will continue investigating. Hmm. Third letter. Well, well, wasn't this quite a day? I tried to investigate the people who had dealings with this puppy union as much as I could and found two main hidden sources of funding. One is the Foreign Trade Association. In fact, the union could be considered a subsidiary of the former. You may not be aware of the particulars regarding said union, but they are closely connected to Sangonomia. Hmm. The second source is more interesting still. You never guess, but it's Comor Tea House. And of course, the Ashiro Commission isn't far behind the curtain. A fascinating turn of events, no? Sangonomia and the Ashiro Commission. I wonder what your little secret is. My, I have my guesses, but I'll need more evidence to prove it. Details of deals regard, regarding pets. We should have records of such things at the police station. I'll get in touch with uh, Yorick Owada. So there will be a fourth letter still. And the board. Uh, or is it attack rocking for life through the force of awesomeness? I saw in board identical in style to the ones in the city. The worst of... Okay. It's... Shikatomi's message. Ito, I received your invitation letter. Everyone's happy for you. We believe that you've got a good head for event planning. If you work a little harder, I'm sure you'll stop having to report to us all the time. So please, take these lavender melons with compliments from the police station. Oh yes, Madame Kujo Sara also wishes us to pass this message along on her behalf. The Terrier Commission is watching you, do not forget that. Message from the TCG, buddy Ayato. I was delighted to hear that you were, you were holding another festival, Ito. As such, I have commissioned a set of audio equipment as a congratulatory gift. What exactly is audio equipment in a semi-medieval setting? Instruments? They don't really have amps. Also, I have recently heard the children of Hanamizaka saying Ayato of the South and Ito of the North. Could you enlighten me as to what that means? What is an Ito more to the south? And Ayato is quite towards the north of the whole Inazuma. A Thomas message. Hey Ito, this is your second time organizing this sort of musical event, right? Huh, didn't think you moved the stage to Watasume Island, opposite Sangonomiya Shrine, no less. Very cool. Well, not exactly opposite. It would be more over there. Ask our clan head, and it was agreed that we dispatch a team from Komori Tea House to help live it up the atmosphere. Well, I could come here. They'll provide tourists with free tea. What do you think? Pretty sweet, huh? Don't worry about it, you're welcome. I'm happy as long as you are. Uh, you me this message. I'm oh, sorry, my bad. I actually received your letter quite a while ago, but choosing the fireworks proved kind of tricky. And I wasn't familiar with the road, so uh, there were some delays. That said, when I got here, 
I thought everything was going great. The atmosphere is electric. The scenery beautiful. Uh, I'm going to have a good look, long look around. I hope the fireworks will fit in well with your gang's rock and roll festival. And so she should be around. This is from Rami Buddy. Well, well, sir, our attack. Uh, I didn't think you remember little of me, your Rami Buddy. I've seen spend many nights considering how I might express my things. See that standing sign over there? Yes, that's right. It is your beloved Miss Hina. It was a last minute decision and I spent quite a hefty sum on this one. It wouldn't disappoint me by not placing it in the most conspicuous of locations, such that Miss Hina may be put on full display to the people of Watasum Island in all her glory, would you? Who is this one, buddy? Okay, I think we're done. Hello! Would you like to practice some music? Hmm... I like to decorate the venue. Oh, really? You've got the things from the list? Great, I'll take those. Thanks so much. I thought I would decorate. Thank you both so much. At last, everything on the list is done. I'm afraid I still have some final preparations to make, but I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Then the party can begin. To read the same attacks right for life. Okay, it's just the name of the event. I still have some final preparations to make for the big party. Let's take a look around and then wait. New letter? No, not yet. Uh, maybe he'll report to us directly. Uh, uh, she said he was kind of uh, large. Hmm. Seriousness? Uh, Liu Harbour's prime purview of literature lore. Oh my, I heard so much about you from Feng Feng. You have me at a disadvantage, sir. Alright, oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lan Qing. Feng Feng is Wang Wang's book house Ji Feng. She's my wife. Uh, you see, she was the one who told me about this event. I don't know much about rock and roll, but Feng Feng says that we should support the latest cultural trends. So here I am. I bought some free cultural products as well. They got snapped up in a heartbeat. I finally know. I brought I brought more. Uh, she also asked me to thank you for the invitation. She has not been so busy. She had she not been so busy, she would have come down here herself. I'm sure of it. I hope you enjoy yourself here too. So we can read it. Oh, that's a cool weasel. Body. You know, this is really simple attack you're rocking for life through the force of awesomeness you recommended. Really is awesome. I'm inspired. Now I have a taste of the food I made specifically for the event. Hmm, what kind of creative, creative cuisine is that? Dago milk that's been marinated in rock and macerated in roll. Ah, okay. Rock and roll dango milk. Here, have one on me. It's just regular dango milk, right? Don't want to go that far. At least it might have been, have been to begin with, but not after hearing all the rock and roll that I made listen to. That's also why it now tastes like regular double milk that's been lying around for a while. Yeah. 
but this way some customers are even willing to pay double the price of regular double milk just to get their hands on this stuff. That's with the power of rock and roll, huh? It's so mind blowing that I can't even put it to words. Rock and roll double milk. And what does Tango Milk actually do? Just restores HP? Okay, so I probably won't waste that by accident. Having mm, sat beneath the stage for a day and a night, this Dango Milk has been fermented using the yeast of Rock and Roll, transforming it into Rock and Roll Dango Milk. They say that its flavor has undergone some marvelous change, but still more amazingly, it can be sold for twice the, the price of the original version. It re that really rocks. I'm sure not fully sure what dango is. Which knows rice that has been grounded to powder and enrolled into a ball. Maybe that thing is almost on yogurt. Peace prevails throughout the land. One dango milk, please. Milk and rock and roll. Just because it's limited edition uh, adventure challenge ah the regular one no uh, I mean I hope it's a regular one uh, let's get that as well so you won't have any more I oh, know it refreshes in seven hours okay uh, I guess now we're done okay wait to what time? Mm, wait till 2 p.m. Next day, probably. You're here! Hey, serious props to you both. This place looks amazing! Even better than I'd imagined! <laughs> <sighs> Everything looks perfect. We're ready for business. Traveler, Paimon, you have our thanks. Guys, guys, why so serious? That ain't rock and roll, man! Hey, look at that! My favorite melon's a fast learner! Also, I hear you're gonna be taking the stage tonight! Whoa! Itching for a little competition, huh? Uh, Paimon was just joking! Seriously, Dvorak? Unbelievable! Getting cold feet? Ah, don't blame ya. I am the reigning champion of the great sing-along, after all. Uh, Paimon... Backing now for a challenge in very rock and roll. Paimon, we can be it. Paimon is too rock and roll. Paimon was just being humble. Then bring it on. Oh, Paimon's bringing it, all right. Paimon's bringing it all the way home. Ha! Oh, by the way, do you ever find the dog? Ah, we hit a complete dead end. Goro said he didn't know anything. Mamaru and the guys asked around the city, but no luck there either. What if it really is in Tenshukaku? Is that why we can't find it? Oh, no, no, don't go poking around Tenshukaku again. You'll give Kujo Sara a migraine. Couldn't agree more. If I bother her too much, I'll end up getting struck by lightning. So that's why this time, I kept my distance and just threw some paper notes towards Tenchukaku. Hopefully, the Raiden Shogun sees them and hands the dog over. Wait, what? You're still taking a big risk there! It looks like Doshin Shikanoin was right. It's probably just a local legend after all. Well, let's hope not, because that would really suck. Wish I had more time to look into it, but unfortunately, this guy's got a performance to practice for. Now don't forget, there's lyrics and music scores in the jam zone, so no wussing out tonight! 
Don't get too cocky, bull checker. We'll see who's rock and roll. <laughs> Game on, Minnie Melon. Oh, Paimon better get some practice in at the jam zone soon. No way is Paimon gonna lose to Ito! Oh, by the way, we invited a ton of people this time, including some people you know. A few have already shown up, and they're asking about you. Wanna go say hi? Cool, yeah, let's go see them! Paimon's curious to find out who you invited. Mm. Hey. hey, Traveler, some of your friends are here. Wanna go say hi? Oh, he's here. Hmm. Oh. Nobody hey, saw that one. Hey, there you are. Didn't he? I sent you some letters a few days ago. Have they shown up yet? Ooh, does this mean you figured it out? Where is it? I've made some progress, but I'm still missing the final piece of the puzzle. So, what did you learn? I don't have anything conclusive yet, but I have a hunch that it involved both the Yashiro Commission and Sanganamiya. What? You mean like in cahoots during the war? Shh. Like I said, it's just a hunch. Let's not get carried away. Anyway, I've written to the station, and they shouldn't take too long to get back to me. Yuriki Iwata should be able to help find what I need. In the meantime, you'll just have to be patient. I would have gone back to the station to look into it myself, but I knew Ito was performing tonight. And I didn't want to miss it. People didn't know about any connection with the Yashiro Commission yet. They had Toma arrested. You know who else performing tonight? Paimon. Oh, wow! Sounds like I'm in for a real treat. I definitely picked the right place to be tonight. Will the Traveler's long-serving voice finally graduate from speech to song in a triumphant victory over the Oni Rocker of Hana Mizaka? It's not us. Sure. They don't call her Flying Rock and Roll Fuel for nothing. <laughs> I'll be awaiting with bated breath. Cut it out! Both of you! No more stupid nicknames! Rock and Roll Fuel is better than Levin and Melo. What if Madame Kujo Sar is the one who got my letter? No, surely she wouldn't intentionally ignore it. <laughs> uh, anything new? <laughs> Here, same thing. Same thing here. Let's check you guys. familiar even the outfit ah i was thinking the same thing your excellency but i just can't put my finger on it she really is the spitting image of who goro kokumi hey oh hello you two it's been a while <laughs> i'm so happy to see you again I was just asking Shinobu if she knew where you were. This is a nice surprise. Paimon didn't expect to run into you two at an Arataki Gang music festival. I heard, heard that Goro helped secure the venue. Oh, I barely did anything. A reader for my That's Life column was asking for advice about it, so I figured I'd help out. Turned out the reader in question was Mr. Arataki Ito. Her Excellency was also very supportive of the whole thing. An international rock and roll music festival sounded like a good way to attract tourists. And it's to bring attention to the plight of living things, right? Seems like a meaningful cause. Yeah, apparently it has something to do with a dog that was a war hero? Although sadly probably not a true story. Have either of you heard anything about that? Oh, you know, bits and pieces. Nothing concrete. Hmm, yeah, no, me neither. Hmm, those sounded suspiciously like prepared answers. <laughs> Probably because we've answered that question before. Mr. Arataki Ito came to ask us about it a while back. 
We'd certainly love to help if we can. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> actually, I was hoping to ask for your opinion on something. Sure, what is it? Does Miss Hina look familiar <laughs> to you at all? I have this strange feeling like I've seen her somewhere before. Oh! Um... I feel like I met her before, but... Nope, sorry, doesn't ring any bells. But you don't remember where? They are twins. Ah, I see. Well, that does make sense. Traveler, let's get out of here. Who could it be? <laughs> yeah, she talks to... Uh... I forgot her name. Come on. The Gucci. She talks to her sometimes. So maybe she actually knows. Oh, you're a real trooper, Yoimiya. This must be one of the furthest places you've ever delivered to. I promised Ito no. that I'd supply fireworks first festival. I wasn't about to go back on my word. Trying to summer. Hey, Toma, Yoimiya. Traveler, Paimon! Cool, you're here too! It's been too long. <laughs> well, looks like I owe the Arataki gang a huge thank you. If they weren't putting on this event, who knows when I would have gotten to see you next. <laughs> you hear that? In case it was too subtle for you, Toma is complaining that you guys never make time to come and visit your old pals. Oh, that's true. Obviously, traveling's very important to you. But you gotta take a break every once in a while. Just remember that you've got friends out there that would love nothing more than the chance to make you feel looked after. Thank you both, that means a lot. But it's not like I can see you guys anytime. Of course! Oh, I heard this really cool thing I gotta share with you guys! So, Ito says that the theme of his music festival comes from a story about a dog that saved animals in the war zone. How amazing is that? What do you know about this dog, Toma? Everyone knows how well connected you are. <laughs> For once, not much, I'm afraid. I guess my connections are one key canine short. But assuming this really happened, I feel like Watatsumi Island would have had to be involved. This is a dog who managed to sneak in and out of a war zone repeatedly without leaving a trail for anyone to follow. Whatever the case, it would have needed someone to help cover its tracks. As far as I know, the Shogun's army doesn't do that kind of thing. So you're saying it was the Sanganomiya troops? They had a specially trained dog for rescuing critters from the battlefield? Sounds kind of far-fetched if you ask me. Do we really think Sanganomiya's forces had enough manpower to fight a full-scale war and run a, a, a... what? A canine wildlife rescue operation on the side? Okay, well, if it wasn't Song on Amiya's side, it must have been the Shogunate! With the original story they told before all that conspiration there, it seemed like it was like a running dog. I doubt they had the main power either. Right, so in my view, it's more likely that Mr. Dvorak simply made the story up as something to capture people's imaginations. I mean, he's an artist, right? Isn't rock music about expressing things we don't fully understand? Kind of like fireworks in a way. Uh, don't question it, just feel it. Hmm. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. That makes you an artist too, Yoimiya! Fireworks are your art. <laughs> I'll take it. And on that note, boy, do I have an art show for you tonight. Make sure you don't miss it. Paimon didn't realize so many people we know would be here. Better get practicing, or tonight could be super embarrassing. <laughs> Sounds like you know a few things about art yourself, Toma. Art? Me? <laughs> Does knitting sweaters count? Absolutely! Knitting is totally an art form. Just... not a very rock and roll one, I guess. I don't think I'll be doing any knitting tonight. Oh, not with that attitude. 
You could, uh, knit sweaters with rock and roll and big letters. Then get everyone to wear them. Hmm, good idea. I'll look into it next time. Uh, Come on, let's head to the jam zone. Okay. Nobody else. And that's actually useless. Hey, Mr. Dvorak, you're still here. Sure am. I've been checking over the equipment, scores, and lyric sheets to make sure everything's ready for tonight. Shinobu was telling me how popular light novels are here in Inazuma, so I've tweaked the melody and lyrics for a more Arataki gang feel with a light novel twist. Light novels plus rock music, so... Light rock! <laughs> I actually didn't change too much. Just took out the dog and made it about Onikabuto instead. Should be more up Ito's alley. This event couldn't have happened without him. It's my way of showing him some appreciation, I guess. What? You got rid of the dog? But wasn't that the whole inspiration behind the festival? Yes, but that's all it was. The initial inspiration. Doesn't matter if we change it to an Onikabuto, or you, or me, or anything else. It's the spirit of it that counts. Spirit? What do you mean? Um, the spirit of rock and roll? Okay, should have seen that coming. Do you think people have been getting too hyper folks on the dog story? <laughs> it's all about the music, my friends. Just enjoy the music. That's all that matters. Ah, fair enough. All right, well, speaking of enjoying music, is it all right if Paimon goes first? Paimon's got to get practicing or Bullchucker's going to hog the spotlight tonight. By all means, be my guest. I knew you'd come around to the idea of going on stage. Here's the music score and lyrics. I can't wait to see this. Ooh, let's see now. What's this song called? I got reincarnated as an Onikabuto and flipped the world upside down? What sort of song title is that? Is this supposed to be rock and roll? Soft rock, rock, actually. <laughs> I gotta see these lyrics. No, no peeking! You can hear them tonight when Paimon sings the song. Paimon's gonna rock so hard, Bullchucker won't know what hit him. Time flies by, and night soon fall. Musical lovers take turns showcasing their talent on stage. Oops, and cheers ring out as the crowd grows louder and the atmosphere gets wilder. Before I know it, the moment has arrived. I think it will be a bit cringe. Ladies and gentlemen. Tonight is a night to celebrate, and I trust you're all having a wonderful time. It's been a non-stop rock and roll ride this evening, and we're almost at the end. But first, it is my huge honor to invite two very special guests to the stage. The illustrious Mr. Arataki Ito and Miss Paimon. The two of them will be performing a brand new song written specially for tonight's event. It's called I Got Reincarnated as an Onikabuto and Flipped the World Upside Down. Take it away! Shifted into dark. I weasel thief hereby bequeath a my mora. Two hundred goes to my pa. Three hundred to dear mama. Don't cry Cause we'll kill 
get reborn as a beetle next time. Onikaba to raise your heart. Kiss to a world beyond the storm. A rosy skies. Okay, after an exhilarating song at 2 in the night, many people begin to leave. But you and your friends approach the stage to congratulate the two rock stars. So that's rock music, huh? It's a little different than I imagined. Yeah, we wouldn't really call that rock. Really? It's different from what I'd heard before. Could be a relatively new genre of rock, I suppose. So, how'd you like my performance? Did I dominate this little melon here or what? <laughs> okay, Bull Chugger, you got owned and you know it! Oh, stop it, you two. I think both of you are sensational. Here, here. <laughs> really mind blowing stuff, guys. I call it a draw. You're very evenly matched. Ah, uh, you think? Okay, well, uh, what about you, my compadre? Who do you think is the most rock and roll? Oh, come on, I have options now. Anyway, what a nice sweater you've been having lately. Hey, don't try to change the subject. <laughs> Let's not argue anymore, shall we? Ito and Paimon, you both gave incredibly moving performances. I owe you all an enormous debt of gratitude. Without your help, this music festival never would have happened. <laughs> Don't mention it, Jack Attack. Hey, if we hadn't met, I wouldn't even know what the spirit of rock and roll means. The spirit of rock and roll? So what does it mean? What does it mean for rock music to have a spirit? It means you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. Just like me and Paimon. Yeah, that's obviously not what it means. Mr. Dvorak, could you please give us the official definition? Someone needs to take this guy down a peg. <laughs> <laughs> An unofficial definition? I don't know that one exists. It's an emotional experience. As though you're hearing your own story speak to you through the music. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking that the spirit of rock and roll is, uh, well, like the Onikapito in the song. Having the courage to grab life by the horns and survive against all the odds. Guess I have a better sense of rock and roll than I thought. <laughs> What about you, Yoimiya? Oh, well, I thought it was going to be all about that dog, but then the song didn't even mention it, so... Uh, was that supposed to be symbolic? Like, if the dog didn't exist, maybe the injured animals didn't either. If there was no injured animals, then that means there was no war, which means the world is at peace. Oh, so for Yoimiya, the rock and roll spirit is all about world peace. Shinobu, what about you? Me? Uh, I hadn't given it all that much thought. I was mostly worrying about whether those paper notes Boss threw into Tenshukaku are going to get him in trouble with the Tenryo Commission. <laughs> that must mean that for Shinobu, the rock and roll spirit is about keeping Narutaki gang safe. Shinobu, seriously, you've got nothing to worry about. If the Raiden Jogan had seen any of those notes, she'd have come to join the party. She might hey, actually. Lisa, you don't need to worry. Otherwise, Hazen definitely would have arrested Ito by now. <laughs> Wait, where is that guy anyway? And where did Kokumi and Goro go? Oh, Doshin Shikanoin had to run back to the station, so he didn't get the chance to say goodbye to you guys. But he did leave something for you. It's over there. Hmm. As for the other two. They couldn't stick around because they had a government meeting to get to. They did ask me to pass on their regards, though. The fact that these busy people all made time to attend the party is telling. Clearly, Ito wasn't exaggerating about the stature of the Arataki gang. Ito, oh, what can I say? We it's truly people. been an honor to work with you. 
<laughs> well, Jack Attack, I can't take all the credit. Let's not forget the Traveler's part in all this. A lot of people showed up because they knew he'd be here. If we do this again, we gotta make sure we find a way to get him on stage. How's that sound, compadre? Get that rock and roll spirit ready, cause next time it'll be your turn to rock our collective socks off! This looks just a meat game, and not actual... Uh, your Excellency, I believe the Tenriel Commission detective is... Don't worry about it, Goro. The Puppy Union was a joint venture between us and the Yashiro Commission. If we can maintain secrecy, then all the better for it. But that was never the main goal. We saved some lives, and that's what matters. I was more worried about the potential impact on your reputation, Your Excellency. After all, some of the lives we've saved belong to the Shogunate. If someone with an agenda finds out, it could cause an uproar. Don't was worry. It there might be a way to make it work out in our favor. Really? How? Times have changed. We and Narukami Island are supposed to be working together now. So it's not necessarily a bad thing if people discover that we were already cooperating with the Yashiro Commission even during the war. Hmm, I see. Goro, if you want my opinion, you should be more concerned about Miss Hina than you are about this. Miss Hina? What makes you say that? I hear Even she works spoiler. for That's Life magazine as well. She's young, popular, pretty. And she seems to be just as good at offering comfort to people in need as you are. So it looks like you have some competition. <clears throat> Understood, Your Excellency. I will work hard to stay ahead of the competition. Shouldn't he try getting a magazine and see the, what she writes about? She did come. I learned something new today. I never knew that the Hydro Nation's rock music had the power to stir up lightning. Miko, a few days ago, some strange paper notes flew into Tenshukaku, demanding that I hand over the dog. So I am here to see what on earth it was all about. <laughs> I just assumed you must have gotten yourself a pet puppy. As it happens, I also received an invitation letter via Sara. I've never heard the name Arataki before, but they must be one of my subjects, and so I thought, why not grant them their wish? Ah, so you came here to make a little Oni's wish come true, hmm? So tell me, how do you plan to respond to the Fontanian musician? It sounded to me like his music was commenting on the war. The war? I'm not sure we can give him the answer he would hope for. But if nothing else, I know that we must avoid another war at all costs. The people cannot be made to suffer like that again. Well? Hmm. But what if the bigger war comes to pass? What then? If it cannot be avoided, then I will have no choice but to fight. Hmm. Well, if that day comes, I'm sure that everyone here tonight will fight by your side. Nobody else. Uh, do you have something to say? Hey, Traveler. Thanks again for all your help. Everything went perfectly. I think I'm gonna stay here for a while and just enjoy the scenery. I'll be back later. Sure thing. Like I said, I'll be here for a while, so you know where to find me. And this is completely pointless, really. Can we light those up? Overruled. Yeah. But it is so no big deal. Oh yeah, that was that. I forgot about that. Oh dear my apologies. 
I received word from the commission. There's a new case that requires my immediate attention. As for the canine case you were concerned about, I already got the evidence, but Yorick Owada kept warning me not to reveal anything to a related person. So sorry, but my lips are sealed. Uh, but there's a but. It's really unfortunate, but I accidentally misplaced something again. You know the details concerning new admission to the puppy union. I believe it's nearby, so could you help me look for it? If you find it, please double check it to see if it's indeed the evidence. And then find a time to return to me. Thank you so much. Hmm. Uh, puppy Union Animation Details, Pet Admitted for Care Today, Wizard Thief number 11, Dallin, 6 years old. How long does a weasel live? Uh, Wizard Thief, Unagi. Unagi. Unagi is the eels, right? 35 years old. We need to. Uh, uh, General Crab. Uh, Choji, Cockerel, Oracle, Sumi, the Vorage. Ah! As I mean today, Onagi. Huh. Last month, all pets were successfully rescued and most were removed to Rito. Some special cases were sent overseas via dedicated channels. Okay, but he is. He doesn't even have a. Uh, I say at least Cockerel and Dvorak, Dvorak don't have. Uh, don't have all names from. Inazuma. Uh, so he was hurt in the war and stuff. So, Unagi. Ah, Unagi is Fontanian. Back at the Nook will probably be. Uh, it's from Inazuma then. But you know, Crab could also be a weasel thief. Oh! Look at the not with teeth. And just two cats then. Okay, so... Weasel teeths are probably from... The Shogunate. No, yeah, those guys are kind of rogue now. I always fighting them when I already know Zuma, so I'm not always fighting them. Ah, uh, okay. Those two are probably ooh, those running guys that are around. They have a different name. And then I say maybe those are from. Uh, the Shogunate and General Crab are from Watatsumi. Cool, cool. Yeah, I, I, I may have even met those people with na by the names I can maybe find them. But cool, really nice. Now here. Yeah, him. Yay! Uh, miscomposition of the road tour complete. Okay, everything done. But we, I think we we'll get some of those decorations maybe for our house. Uh, 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 
Yeah, I already have a maxed out Goro, apparently. Where is Goro? Yeah, he's definitely maxed out. Alright, so cool. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna make a wish. Because the change and I already got both. So let's save for the next banner. Alright, so I'm off.